fancy a pint later. Well, across the road. I was going to say we went to town. No, it's a school night. But... Do you want me to text you this instead? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, pint sounds good. See you later. Who'd want to batter Andy? She was all over him, crying over his hospital bed like he was dying. Right, well, that's a taxi book for five. Thought we'd have a couple in here and then try that new place in town. Yeah, it shows how desperate she is, trying to rile me. Well, maybe she's just getting on with her life like you're getting on with yours. All the women in the world, he asked that she was, uh, funny, that. Look, Andy doesn't play games. Well, why else would he be nailing my ex? And someone's just beating him up. Well, don't look at me. It's not worth the effort. Well, Chris is insane if she thinks it's her he's after and not the money. Andy's not that kind of bloke. And why do you care anyway? Same again, Chaz. Look. As if you can keep her interested. All well, he talks about is tractors and kids. Shall we go on when she's had enough of all the early nights? Do you want another? No, I'm all right, thanks. We need to sort out what we're doing tonight. You're going into town, aren't you? No, I'm staying here. You, wait, you, you invited me. It was your idea. You've already booked the taxi. Right, well, I'll unbook it then. I've gone off the idea, so I'll find something else to do. It was. Have you seen Aaron today? No. Right. You right? Well, I'm trying to get a bit of peace. Do you want to go for a drive or something? Get out of here for a bit. Are you serious? Yeah. With you? I know you think I'm hung up on Chrissy and Andy, but I'm not, I swear. I couldn't care less either way. Yeah, I know, and I'm just trying to say... I haven't got space for anything in my head but the trial. I know, I get it. No, you don't get it, because you're not listening to me, Robert. I haven't got space for you. Go away. You're set? Well, yeah, but why are you? Did you not get my text? But to stay away, I'm a witness. But they're not even going to get round to you today. You'll just end up sitting in a room with Sandra and my mum. Sandra? You've heard from her? Sorry, love. Still getting the voicemail. But, but we've been through this. If Sandra do not turn up, then Liv won't either, and she can't sink your case. It could be a good thing. No, it's not a good thing. She's a scared kid missing with a useless mum. It's not the first time that Sandra's taken off with her. Liv will be all right. It's a big day. Let me support you. No, I need to keep my head straight, and if you're there, then I can't. All right. But you know... Yeah, I know. Mr Sugden, why do you think Mr Livesey confided in you first about his father's abuse? Well, I was the one who found him. Half dead from the sepsis he'd got from cutting himself. Something he's been doing since his dad. No, he's not dad. Since that, over there, started attacking him. Why did you believe Mr Livesey's confession? Because it's Aaron. He's not a liar, not about something like this. He's just too... decent. But the defence will tell you they've thrown doubt on a recent police alibi of Mr Livesey's. I don't know anything about that. I'm not saying he's perfect. He makes mistakes, of course he does. But that's down to him. Aaron's messed up. But he fights to do stuff right. And he won't take the easy way if he thinks it's wrong, even if it hurts him. He's the sort of person you want to be. And to be with. Well, I had to. I was left with a kid to raise. I'm kidding myself. It's all right. Is it fair to say you took out that anger and resentment on your son? No. That by abusing him, you once more were in control? No. It never happened. I never laid a finger on him. But in your statement, you've already admitted you hit your son. Or are you now denying that too? <laughs> 